In this video, we are discussing enumeration and iterators. So, it is a very important concept in our Java. So, what are enumeration and the iterator? The enumeration is an interface. So, enumeration is an interface that is used to get elements from the legacy collections like our vectors and hash table. So, these are the legacy collections are there from where we can get elements through this enumeration. We cannot use the enumeration for the array lists or say in case of linked lists etc. But what about this iterators? So, the iterator is similar to the enumeration and it is universal. That means, we can apply iterator for any type of collection objects. So, enumeration does not support removing elements from the collections, but on the other end we can do the same that means, the removing the elements using iterator here. So, now let us go for one practical demonstration to give you the difference and the respective features of this enumeration and iterators into more details. So, here is the demonstration follows. See at the line number 7 we have defined one string array. The name of the array is word array and containing this set of strings here. We are defining one vector class object that is a word list and which is getting populated directly from the content of the word array. So, what is the code here? So, new vector and this arrays dot as list the method name is as list and which is taking this uh, string array as input and its content will populate this vector object that is a word list and later we have printed this word list. So, the word list colon we are doing the concatenation of this word list and here is the outcome for it. You can find that the word list is containing that is the current content of this word list that is a vector object is having this one. So, book, number, place, lemon, apple and tree. In this way the word list has got the outcome has got the has produced the output uh, concatenating its uh, content with this string here. So, now here we are having another class that is the enumeration this particular class is having one object that is a vector in num. You can find that this word list which is nothing but a vector class object dot elements. So, elements is a method with the help of which we can directly populate values to this enumeration object that is a vector in num. So, enumeration iterates through vector. So, in this way you can find that this vector object word list dot elements is a method with the help of which we can directly populate or instantiate and the vector enum that is the enumeration class object. You can find here this particular el elements you can find that it is having the prototype enumeration string that means it returns this enumeration class object and this elements is under the class vector under the package java.util. So, next one is that how to retrieve elements from this uh, from this vector enum that is the enumeration class object the vector enum dot has more elements. So, this is the method we are having this method returns boolean that means when it returns true then the while will be continuing with the iterations when it will return false then while uh, loop will terminate. So, system dot outer print ln vector enum dot next element. So, next element is a respective method which returns the current content the next elements content of this vector that is a vector enum object that is object of enumeration class. So, link list uh, class object is word link list is equal to new link list there is a constructor we are calling and this link list will be holding the string objects and this word link list dot add add, add all that is a word list. So, word list is nothing but the vector class object and we are passing this one as input argument to the method that is the add all. In the previous video also we use this particular method add all here. So, all these elements within this vector object that is the word list uh, will, will populate will instantiate this word linked list that is a linked list class object. And now we are going to add another two uh, elements here string objects here that is a ball and mango and here we have used the method that is add. Now, whenever, whenever you are printing this word link list here, so now just see the outcome. Now, whenever you are printing this word, the word list that is a link list here, link list class object, we are getting this book number place lemon apple tree as is well and then ball and this mango which we added at the last two elements. So, they are, they are also showing. So, actually they are nothing but the string class objects. 
Now, you see, iterator, we are defining one iterator object that is our it is equal to word link list dot iterator. So the iterator, the iterator it will point elements to the link list. So here we are having this word linked list. Word link list, you can easily find that this word link list is nothing but the link list class object and dot iterator is the method which, of, which I called and this uh, iterator method is returning iterator class object. So while it dot has next, so in this way you can go for the iteration using this while loop for each and every looping we can pick up the value from this iterator object it using the method it dot next. So now let, let me show you the output here. You can find that it is printing book number plus lemon apple free ball and mango as is well. So all these members have got retrieved string objects have got retrieved with the each and every iteration and looping within the while and while will uh, will check the condition that is the it dot hat has next if it returns true then it will go for the next iteration but if has next method returns false then it will terminate the loop as well. In this way, in this particular demonstration, we have shown you how to define the iterator class objects, link list class object, enumeration class objects and so on. So I think the conception is now clear to you. Thanks for watching this video.